Alright, hello everybody and welcome. <clears throat> hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. I see everyone is joining the stream. Welcome to the pre-stream of the stream. That is the stream of the stream. And then there's stream with the stream. Okay. I am Dark Side Phil, of course. Welcome. Today will be Metal Gear Solid 5. Just to clarify for everyone, uh, there was some confusion. Originally, way back on Thursday, I had said... That I was going to do a poll overnight and whatever lost the poll I would be playing today. <laughs> However, I ended up making the poll a triple threat between Mad Max, uh, Fallout New Vegas, and Metal Gear Solid 5. Metal Gear Solid 5 won, and I said, well, since I am away on Saturday and I'm not going to be doing any gameplay, which I did not, I figured I would jump back into uh, Phantom Pain today. And then tomorrow we'll give it a rest. Tomorrow I'll focus on, on uh, Mad Max and Fallout. And then we'll return to Phantom Pain this Tuesday. So FYI, that is what we're doing. Just so you know. Uh, about two and a half to three hours of gameplay today in Phantom Pain. Uh, I do have to say this. Last time I played it, which was Friday, I had a lot of fun. I actually enjoyed the missions. They were a little bit more varied than usual. We had a duel with Quiet. Uh, that was fun. And it looks like there's a little bit of variety going on in the game at this point. And then, uh, coming up, these next couple of story missions are actually not standard story missions. Most of the story missions have been extraction or kill a couple ki uh, targets. This one is destroy vehicles. Two different ones where I think I have to destroy vehicles. And so what I'm going to do today is look and see if I can uh, develop... What I need, they're recommending missiles. I don't know what that means. Missile. I don't think I can make a missile launcher. Maybe they mean for the helicopter could have a missile launcher. I'm not sure. Maybe it comes in, blows it up, and leaves. I don't know. But, uh... <clears throat> but, yeah. That's what I'm going to be focusing on today. And then hopefully once we complete those two story missions, we'll advance the story a little further. And see where it goes. <clears throat> now, tonight, I'll be doing the week in preview. And that's going to break down this week thoroughly and explain to everyone what I'll be doing this week. Because I know that there's a lot of, not necessarily confusion, but a lot of uncertainty. Because as you know, I was sick for a while. I came back. I started playing the new releases. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still, uh, as you can hear, yes, I am still under the freaking weather. My symptoms won't go away. And it sucks. It's uh, lagging on here, dragging on. It appears this cold, even though I am, you know, I'm not contagious, and I certainly am not afflicted by the cold anymore. The symptoms are just not going away. So it's going to probably take another week, <clears throat> I'm thinking, to get rid of the damn symptoms. So apologies if you hear me choking, snorting, clearing my throat, blowing my nose. It's going to happen. There's nothing I can do about it. At least I'm getting it out of the way now before we head into a ton of other new releases. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but anyway, as I was saying... Uh, yeah, hopefully we can, uh, there's a lot of confusion in regards to what's going on this week because I was sick, okay? My time off when I was sick screwed up the schedule a little bit. We had to, we had to not do a, ask, an episode of Ask the King that I wanted to do. Uh, I didn't have time to review until dawn. So I know there's a lot of confusion. Um... So tonight I'll be doing the weekend preview and hopefully I'll be clearing up a lot of that confusion for you so that hopefully come, you know, this week people will know what's going on every day rather than every day now people are like, well, I don't, I don't know what Phil's playing. And I'm kind of like, well, you know, I, I do put out a schedule every night on Twitter. If people did check the schedule, they would know. Uh, I already got a message already. Phil, why are you playing Metal Gear? I thought you were playing Mad Max today. And I'm like, well, it's because I changed my mind. Uh, you know, for two days I've had it on the schedule on Twitter that I was playing Ma uh, Metal Gear today, not Mad Max. Uh, but that's why that, that schedule exists. You got, you know, following me at They Call Me DSP is the best way daily to be in the know on what I'll be playing that particular day. <clears throat> okay. So that being said, uh, Metal Gear right now, we can preview tonight. And then after the weekend preview, I'm actually going to be recording my spoken word portion of Until Dawn. And what I mean by that is I'll be doing the part where I talk to the camera. Now, more than likely, that's going to take a while. 
and I may or may not have time to actually try to edit the Until Dawn review tonight. We'll see. If I can, if I can get it, you know, filmed and also do it, I may release the Until Dawn review sooner rather than later. I'd obviously like to get it re released early this week. <laughs> Being that the game's almost been out for two weeks now. Uh, but I just haven't had an opportunity because, like I said, I was sick. I lost three whole days of work where I would have been working on that. <clears throat> and then I had to jump right into the new releases last week. So, I'm going to try to work on that tonight. We'll see how far I get with it. I'll let everyone know again via Twitter how that's going. Um, <clears throat> then tomorrow, we're going to be doing Mad Max and Fallout. So, we're going to be returning to Fallout New Vegas for the first time uh, in, in this month, first of all. And the first time in a long time in weeks. I know that uh, people, you know, really were enjoying that playthrough. And because of the new releases coming out, and because I was sick, we weren't able to schedule in a stream of that. <laughs> so that'll be tomorrow, and I'm going to try to schedule in at least one more stream of uh, Fallout New Vegas this week. So I'd like to get maybe two streams of it in this week. Now, FYI, next week, there's actually no new releases at all. The only new release that was supposed to come out next week was Mighty Number no. 9. But it got rescheduled, and it's not being, uh, it's, it's not being coming out. It's got delayed till 2016. So there's no new games next week, which means that we have opportunity to focus in on Metal Gear, Mad Max, and more Fallout, which is a good thing. Plus, I might mix in a little bit more Mario Maker during the course of that week. So we'll have four games being alternated next week. And, uh, you know, my goal here is ultimately, <clears throat> by the end of the month... To have finished up with Mad Max and Metal Gear Solid 5. So we'll see. Hopefully everything goes according to plan. And that's that's possible. I don't know. I don't know. Ideally, I don't know what's going to happen. Especially with uh, how long everyone's saying Metal Gear Solid 5 is. I mean, <clears throat> everyone's saying it's a 50 hour long game. <clears throat> Again, I apologize for the snorting. Yes, this cold is killing me and I hate doing this, but... You know, people are like, well, just blow your nose. It doesn't work. I have post-nasal drip. Blowing your nose doesn't clear it out, unfortunately. But anyway, um, I, I mean, I want to beat this game. I do. I am enjoying it. Am I absolutely loving it? And, uh, you know, saying it's the best game ever? No, because I don't feel it is. I think it's a great entry this year. I don't even necessarily know if it's the best game I've played this year yet. We'll see. But that's something to get further into it. <clears throat> um... But that being said, uh, you know, I want to I want to beat it. But, it, you know, the game people are saying it's 50 hours long. 50 hours. I mean, holy shit. Seriously, 50 hours. So you're talking at least probably 12 or more gameplay sessions for me to beat this game. So, you know, looking at the schedule and the fact that I'm, I, I am playing multiple games at once, you're talking it may actually go all the way till the end of the month. Which is fine if it does. Uh, you know, I hope that... You know, I, I'm able to not to not get stuck. And that's kind of the problem. That I'm a little worried about is that as we progress further, a lot of people are saying that it gets a lot harder. And some of the missions already, in my opinion, have been pretty difficult. Where guys are just seeing you from ridiculous perspectives. And they obviously have way better vision than any previous Metal Gear game. And I don't know, you know... A lot of things in this game are not explained. Just like previous Metal Gear games, you know, you're just supposed to know. Like you're just supposed to know to, to summon your helicopter for certain missions and have it do air support. And you're just supposed to know. I just noticed people were leaving comments on my videos about those radar things. I guess there's radar dishes in camps. And if you destroy those, then you can actually have a helicopter approach the camp or do an airdrop or pick you up quicker. Uh, I didn't know that and the game never explained it. So, here I am, you know, having to land a million miles away from missions and then basically go there on foot or on the horse. And come to find out, I could have just dropped in right next to it, but I didn't know that you could destroy those radar dishes and that they would do that. Because, again, game doesn't explain a lot. I mean, this is par for the course for a Metal Gear game, that it doesn't explain everything. It just expects you to kind of find stuff out for yourself. Uh, maybe that's good for someone who has, you know, 300 hours to play the game, and this is their focus for the next two months. But for me, that's a little frustrating because, you know, there's all these things I'm missing out on in the game. And I have to rely on viewer feedback and viewer, uh, 
advice to know that stuff. And so I do read the comments. I've been looking at the stream chat and stuff, trying to figure stuff out in this game. I hope you understand. If I'm not doing something in particular, it's probably because the game never explained it. You know? <clears throat> Okay, so anyway, yes, we are going to do around three hours of Metal Gear Solid 5 gameplay today on stream, and I'm going to be honest with everyone here. I like the game. I don't necessarily think it's the best game ever, like a lot of people are saying, but I do like it, but uh, I don't know about a 50-hour playthrough. I'll be honest. Uh, it seems like people were very interested at the very beginning of the game when I first started playing it, like, they loved my commentary on the opening cutscenes and the opening intro, which was about an hour and a half long. As soon as the game went open world, and the game became just an open world sandbox sneaking game, it seems like the interest kind of died out. And I'll be honest. I agree. I think that this is a game that is fun to play, and not necessarily very fun to watch. Because when you have a game that's primarily open-world sandbox gameplay, you can only do so much until it's the same thing over and over. And a lot of people have been saying to me, but Phil, you know, Metal Gear Solid 5 was meant to be a game that you could play however you want. If you want to run and gun, you can. If you want to sneak, you can. To which I say, okay, yeah, it's true. You can just run and gun, but then you'll get a terrible rating, and the game chastises you for it. Obviously, you're not supposed to do that. The goal is to actually try to do stealth that's the whole point of metal gear that's always been the point of metal gear so even though yeah there's a hundred ways to do a mission uh you're basically not rewarded for 95 percent of the ways to beat the mission and i kind of have to when i compare metal gear solid 5 i've been thinking what games have i played recently that i could compare it to and honestly the only game that i could really think of <clears throat> is uh <clears throat> The only thing that I can think of is um, Hitman. If you remember Hitman way back when, a few years ago, right? Now, that was a game where every mission had a lot of different ways to do it. Whether you wanted to do the direct approach, you wanted to do a stealthy assassination approach. Sometimes you could use environmental things going on. There was even special setups and times during missions I, remember, I still remember there was the cage there uh, like a cage fighter you could just drop something on his head the whole cage and he would die in the cage right and i think about that game and i'm like well at least in in a in hitman as long as you can find a way to complete the mission the game kind of rewards you now not to say that running and gunning if you're going head up and doing face you know head up combat yes it penalizes you and that's kind of the, the most the direct comparison that i can make for Metal Gear Solid 5 is kind of like Hitman, except it's a lot different in the fact that the uh, the worlds are open world. Hitman always, you know, when you're in a map on Hitman, there's invisible walls, there's limitations to what you could do, right? <clears throat> this game, it's not. It's like, okay, it's completely open world and, th you know, think of other ways to do missions. So, I don't know. I Like I said, I don't dislike the game. I'm actually having fun playing it. But here I am, I've played the game two hours on launch night, three hours the next day, two hours the next day, three hours the next day. So that's about ten hours of gameplay. Then I played another three hours on Friday, and I take that back because I really didn't. I played it for about two hours because I had some nonsense going on I had to take care of. It was about two and a half hours. So I'm, what, 12, 13 hours into the game? And uh, I, at this point... I get the feeling that, you know, for those who are watching, thank you, but take a look at the viewership, you know. It's not really, you know, on par with the new release. Take a look at Until Dawn, right? A game that was very gripping. The story was interesting. It really lent itself to fun commentary. Uh, it seems to me that because I'm not kissing this game's ass, and, you know, a lot of people say, oh, it sounds to me when you say that that you're making fun of those who like the game. I'm not. I'm saying I'm just not kissing the game's ass, you know. I'm being very honest about the game. I like it, but I don't think it's amazing, blow me away, best game ever. Like, so many people are saying, and I hate to say it, it's that bandwagon fucking mentality again that I get so sick of, right? The game was overhyped. The last Metal Gear game ever. Koj Kojima's magnum opus. So say it's, you know, the best game ever made. <clears throat> and it frustrates the shit out of me. Yes, it's a good game, but for me, it's not the best game ever. No. 
Now that could be changed. Maybe I'll play more and I'll love the game even further. But for now, I think it's a great game. I don't think it's the best game I've ever played. That's for sure. You know? And it frustrates me when people say that kind of stuff. When I think it's just that hype mentality of, oh, everyone's playing this big popular game together, so let's all kiss the game's ass. Uh, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm not. <clears throat> and the bottom line is, there's some games that I think are much more entertaining uh, to play rather than to watch. And I think that this might be one of them. If you like sneaking and you like open world gameplay, this is a fun game. But it's not necessarily something you want to watch a full playthrough of. Unless, again, you are watching some overhyped stream. And it's the same thing. I say the same things with games. It's the same thing with YouTube and streamers, too. If there's some streamer, oh my god, it's the biggest YouTuber. He's going to do a live stream of Metal Gear. I love it. And everyone just tunes in because of the hype rather than because of the content. Of course. You know? And that's kind of what's been going on with YouTube and, and live streaming in general the past few years is... Everyone gets behind the hyped, overhyped thing rather than actually looking and paying attention to the substance of it. Now, no, by no means am I saying that I'm the most entertaining streamer of Metal Gear Solid 5. In fact, I'd probably say I'm one of the probably least entertaining because I don't necessarily love the series. Like I said, I'm not kissing its ass. And, uh, you know, some of the times that I think outside the box are successful, some are not. Uh, I'm certainly not great at the game. So, you know, you're looking for master level gameplay of the game. You're not going to get it here. But I don't think that means that I can't put out an entertaining stream. You know what I mean? It just means that I'm not necessarily the best game. Okay? <clears throat> so, everyone. We'll see what happens. I'm going to continue <clears throat> with the game. And we'll, we'll go from there. I'm not exactly sure... Where it's going, uh, looks like we'll have a couple missions today that will be more destroying demolition than anything else. Hopefully I do well on them. Hopefully we can prog progress the plot. <clears throat> and obviously here's hoping that we'll have uh, some entertaining stuff. I'm, I'll be honest with everyone. I miss it. I'm actually now... <clears throat> I'm actually sorry for what I asked for. You know, playing Metal Gear Solid 4? Yes, the game was primarily cutscenes. <laughs> And the gameplay that was there was pretty good. It was simplistic, but it was good. Now it's like you just have so much gameplay and almost no story elaboration for, like, a playthrough. I don't even have a lot to comment on, you know? There's not a lot to even say commentary-wise because it is so much of this open-world kind of generic-style gameplay. Over and over and over. And uh, it, it, what am I supposed to do? I'm not one of these Let's Players who is going to be telling you a story about my fucking life as I play the game because I actually focus on the game. So that's one of the things, you know, other Let's Players are playing a boring-ass game. Oh, let's talk about my trip to the supermarket when I was 14 years old and I saw a woman with big tits. Uh, no. That's not what I do when I play games. I focus on the game. <clears throat> that's the point. Yes, I could joke about it, but the point is to be doing a playthrough of the game, not to hear about my life story. You want to hear that? Watch my podcasts. That's when I talk about that kind of stuff, you know? So, I don't know. Uh, I'm a little worried about a 50-hour-long playthrough of this game. I really am. And being that this was the big release for September, you know, I don't know. I honestly don't know what's going to happen. Now, we've got other stuff to do. We've still got Fallout New Vegas that I've got to play and complete by the end of this month, hopefully. We've got Mad Max. Quite honestly, I don't think a lot of people are liking the Mad Max playthrough either. What I mean by that is they're not really watching it. Because uh, they've heard so much negative stuff about the game that they don't want to check it out. Everyone's so Metal Gear 5 hyped that they don't want to, uh, you know, watch another game or give another game a chance. Which is a shame because I actually am having a lot of fun with Mad Max. And actually, I'm looking forward very much to playing it again tomorrow after the last few gameplay sessions and things are getting better, in my opinion, in that game. Uh, I wish that more people would. I'd rather... I, quite honestly... I wish that I could focus more on that game than Metal Gear and kind of get it out of the way and beat it within a week or two, but, you know, <clears throat> it is what it is. So, anyway, I digress. We're going to have new content coming out the next few weeks. Uh, it's going to be basically kind of two weeks here where we're going to be balancing between Metal Gear, Mad Max, and Fallout until we finally get to some bigger heavy hitters like Soma is coming out later this month. That one should be good fun fun uh 
survival horror game coming out. I think I'm going to get that on PS4. And, uh, and then at the end of the month, I'm probably going to be checking out Tony Hawk. I'm still debating doing NBA 2K this year. I'll have to make a decision. <clears throat> and we'll go from there. But, uh... Alright, we're going to start. We're about to start up, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, listening to the pre-stream. Let's begin with more Metal Gear. Again, I apologize for my cold. <laughs> Ugh. <clears throat> Jesus. You know... It really does suck that, uh, you know, I still got these fucking symptoms, but that's life, I guess. Hopefully by the end of the week, but we'll see. I mean, I'm doing my best to take care of myself, but there's only so much I can do. You know what I mean? Uh, in regards to uh, symptom management and such, uh, it really does suck <clears throat> that I am still suffering with this, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I will... Uh, do my best to get better for you so you don't have to put up with this nastiness anymore. I I don't want it. You don't want it, right? <laughs> All right, everyone. Let's end the pre-stream. Let's get started. <laughs> 